Okay, we're at WordPress.com. Let's go ahead and log in. You should have already created your account. And go ahead and use that password that you created when you made that account. We're going to log in. Now your screen that you see next is going to differ from mine. I already have several blogs established and so it's not going to be the same as probably what you see. You should be on a page that says register a blog. And you're going to see that somewhere on, on the page. Okay, I have to go somewhere different because I already have several set up. So I'm going to go to my account and I'm going to go to my blogs. And because I've already got some set up, I'm going to go to the lower right hand corner and say register another blog. Okay, we, we should now be on the same page. Okay, so we should see um, get a WordPress blog or get another WordPress blog. Okay, if you have already had one. For the domain name, we're going to keep it very simple, such as um, something about your first name, last name, and then I'm just going to use Capstone. That'll let my professors know that this is my Capstone portfolio. Now we can't change that, so do change something, or excuse me, do choose something that later on will serve you well. We can change the blog title at any point. So let's go real generic right now. And let's do something like that. Privacy. This is totally up to you. Um, you may not want to turn this on until your portfolio is entirely done at the end of the program. So totally up to you. I'm just going to leave mine on for now. I'm going to say create block. Now, if somebody has already taken the domain name that you selected, WordPress will tell you. It will let you know. I and good to go because it says that nobody else is using it, it's mine, it's yours, it says, and that I'm now able to log in to my new blog. So I will use my same username and my same password and log in. All right, in the next video, I will show you how to get in and make the pages that make up your portfolio.